is up guys, I am Exotic Gaming and today I am back with another Pixel Gun 3D video and today's video is another weapon review. Today's weapon review is different from my other ones because this weapon review is on a weapon that came out of the gift box. If you guys have not checked out the video that I uploaded right before this one then I highly recommend you guys to do it. It was a gift box opening video where I spent 600 gems and opened up 200 of these gifts and I actually won the candy cane so I decided that in today's video since I did win the candy cane I will be reviewing it for you guys this weapon is in the melee section and as you guys can see it's basically just the candy baton well that's its official name I'm gonna call it the candy cane because it is a candy cane and it has a very very good lethality it has a 27 lethality and if you compare it to some of the other weapons it's technically what really soft states as a higher lethality as the fire demon I've only very rarely used this weapon, and I don't really know if this one really is better than the Fire Demon. It's probably not better than the Storm Hammer, but you do look pretty freaking awesome when you use this weapon. It also has a 92 swinging rate, which is not bad by any means. So without further ado, what we are going to do is we are going to go jump into a close range map with this weapon, because since it is a candy cane, candy canes you can't really throw. I mean, I guess you can, but... We're going to stay in a close range match because since this is a melee weapon, you have to get very up close and personal when using it if you really want to kill the maximum amount of people as possible. So here's a guy right over here, and it is, let's see how many shots it is to somebody with Adam and armors. One, two, okay, whoa, whoa, I actually killed that person. I'm not, I did not expect that. Is it a two shot to an Adam and armored player? If that's the case, then that's insane. Here we go, let's see. Wow. Okay, guys, this candy cane. I'm actually kind of happy that I want it now. Holy moly, look at how good this thing is. Guys, okay, I actually seriously was only using this weapon in um, the arena survival mode, and I actually didn't use this in gameplay yet, and I'm very impressed with this thing. This melee weapon is probably one of the most powerful ones in the game currently right now, and... If you are lucky enough to win this in a gift chest, I definitely would recommend using this one over some of the other melee weapons in this game. I would recommend using- wow, it actually has a very, very far distance, a very good range for a melee weapon, that's for sure. Um, it's a pretty big candy cane, that's for sure, so you would figure that this one has a very long range, and somebody without any armor whatsoever, that should be a one-shot kill to somebody like that. So that, that means that this is a very, very powerful weapon, and if you do are lucky enough to win this, then I definitely... Yeah, there you go. It's a two-shot to somebody with the freaking candy cane. That's insane. That's absolutely awesome, guys. I totally would recommend using this over um, most of the other melee weapons in this game, and there might even be a boot or cape that could actually even increase the damage even farther. Yeah, look at this. This one, the Berserk Cape UP2. This one actually... Um, Tremendously increases the chance of ignoring a headshot if you are using a weapon from the melee category Then it tremendously accelerates movements from weapons from the melee category So instead of this being a 120 mobility this will turn into something like a 140 mobility and with this you're pretty much unstoppable Look at this. This is this is very very good And I definitely recommend using this if you do have this I would definitely recommend those boots and capes if you have any sort of melee weapon period I mean I have a multi-kill right now, and it's very, very powerful, guys. I love this candy cane. I'm going to use this candy cane more than probably any other melee weapon that I will ever use in Pixel Gun 3D because I did spend in total $11 on the uh, the gems, the gift openings, to get this thing, and I'm not going to let those $11 go to waste. So this one certainly is something you guys definitely need to get. And if you were lucky enough to use it and actually win it, um... I know I wasn't very lucky because I had to spend $11 just so I could get this one. And I was actually trying to get the Golden Friend and I never successfully did that. So we'll have to do that at a later time. But uh, I was lucky enough to win this and I'm really happy that I did. Because as you guys can see, the kills that you can get on this are just fantastic. Even people with invisibility potions, you don't even know where they are. And you can still easily kill them. There you go. Kill 30 enemies with weapons from the melee category. Just won the quest right there. I literally got the quest in just almost this one single match right here. So that's that's fantastic. I'm going to get probably up to close to 50 kills in one single match. Like, that's awesome. That's really, really powerful. Um, I don't really have much else I need to say, though, to be honest, guys. Because this is just a melee weapon. And... Uh, Melee weapons are pretty straightforward. You obviously know where to use them most often. They're close range weapons. You gotta use them in close range if you wanna get a kill. 
It's not like a, a assault rifle or a backup weapon where you can use this at long range and then actually take somebody out like that. That's not the case with this thing. Like this guy right here, he doesn't even stand a chance against this. Well, somebody else killed him, but still. I mean, it's, it's really, really good, guys. So, I'm going to continue on using this weapon in this match, though, guys, for about 10 more minutes or so. I know, it's a long time, but it's just, it's just so fun. I want to use this for as long as possible. I mean, look at this, this guy right here. They're adamant armored players, and you're actually, you finally have a weapon that you can actually counteract the Stormhammer users with, and that's, that's awesome. I'm really, really happy that there finally is one that you can counteract the Stormhammer users with. That's great. That's fantastic. I mean, these guys, they're all dying left and right, and I have ruby armor. I don't even have adamant armor, and I'm still able to take these people out. Plus, with this mobility as high as this one has, um, you don't even have to really worry about these people killing you all the way across the map, because you're gonna move so quickly that... Um, you're probably going to be able to counteract it anyways. Here's somebody with the Dark Matter Generator, easily able to take him out, well, almost. And yeah, so there you go. I mean, you can easily take out people, even if they see you before you see them, and they're blasting around with an area damage weapon. You can, you can kill them, just, it's awesome. So, um, continuing on here, guys, I have 2,375 points. This is more than I usually gets uh, for sure in uh in a death match this is this is great i love this thing i'm gonna um if i ever want to just do some coin grinding in all honesty this might be the thing that i'm gonna use guys um, just because it's it's probably one of the best melee weapons to possibly use so yeah guys uh get this thing if you if you really want a good melee weapon um Although I don't recommend spending all the gems to get this, it's really not enough to spend like $11 in gems to get it. And it might be even more for you guys. It might not even be $11. It might be like $30, okay? And then in that case, it's, it's not worth it, okay? Um, I was just lucky enough to get it within my first like 300 to 400 gems of being spent. So if you're lucky enough to get it that way, then hey... Um, I seriously don't recommend, unless you like actually do YouTube videos on this, to get or to get the gems to go use the g the gift. God dang it, I'm just failing that commentary. Sorry. I definitely recommend not to waste your gems on the gift, just because it's a majority for sandbox items, and uh, it's it's that's not something that I really recommend you guys to spend all of your gems on. But if you um, want to spend maybe just a little bit, then hey, just go for it. And and don't spend a lot. Don't spend like 400 gems on this thing because it's just, it's not that great. So 3,205 points, guys. I got first place with 41 kills. Wow. Um, that was pretty awesome. I do have to say that for sure. Like these guys, prototype versus candy cane. Candy cane wins. Full-blown sniper rifle versus a candy cane because this is logic in pixel gun. I swear. <laughs> That's pretty funny. You know, another weapon that I could see really soft putting inside is the carrot sword. Inside the gift. That would be interesting if they put that there. They need to put some more actual weapons in the gift. Like, only gift obtainable ones. Because that would be really, really cool. And it would make it more, like, of something I would want to do. Like, you know how I did the video right before this one? The gift opening video? I would totally like to do more of those videos if they put more weapons in these gifts. But, if they, um only have this one in the golden friend then it might not be worth it i'm not entirely sure what the what sure these people are saying in the chat right now um i i believe they said my name or something like that so uh yeah that's interesting but um continuing on here guys i i love this candy cane this candy cane is freaking amazing i'm gonna use this one so much and uh, the gameplay like wow look at this gameplay like even this guy with his prototype it, it just takes them out so 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 quickly like oh my gosh you can get these points racked up as well because you have a melee weapon so you get more points using a melee weapon and i mean it's just it's your ultimate weapon ever for sure it's it's like the ultimate weapon that you could possibly get right now i mean there's there's no other weapon that you should ever get other than the candy cane i mean obviously the storm hammer is still probably a lot better than the candy cane but hey this one is still really really good the only reason the Stormhammer would be better is because the Stormhammer has an area damage, but hey, this one's still, guys. Multi-kills, monster kills, anything, all these kills are not that difficult. I, <laughs> I'm getting this slaughter notification so much, it's just, like, awesome, guys. So, like, this is insane. This this weapon is literally insane. I, I love it. I love it. And plus, since this is a melee weapon, it's not overpowered, because melee weapons, you know, it's pretty difficult to use them in general. The only melee weapon which really is overpowered is the Stormhammer, and this one is... Certainly not as overpowered as the Storm Hammer, just because the Storm Hammer has area damage and this one, it is not. You actually have to have some level of skill and accuracy when using this if you really want 
to kill the enemy players with it, as you guys could see. I could have easily taken that person out with the storm hammer a lot sooner than I did with that thing. I mean, this thing is almost turning into a one-shot to some of these adamant armored players. Like, that's really powerful. To have a one-shot melee weapon against an adamant armored player, it's literally a dream. It's a dream come true, guys. So, we're ten minutes into this video, guys. And, uh, I, I probably should have waited to do the Christmas weapon gameplay, in all honesty, with this thing. Um, we both got an invisibility potion? What? Okay, I'll, I'll take that, I guess. Um, but guys, totally, totally awesome weapon. The gameplay is just fantastic. Even against these adamant armored players, they are just going down. Guys, there's no chance that they have to try to take me out. Unless they have the solar power cannon or that person has the grenade. Like, the grenade's really one of the few things that you can actually take these people out with. So, I mean, I mean, on, in all honesty, who really uses a grenade that much? Not too many people, so... Yeah, guys, great weapon, fantastic weapon, super happy that I did win it. In all honesty, when I first got this from the gift, I didn't expect this to be that great, and I kind of was sad that I won it, because I wanted the Golden Friend instead, but I am perfectly fa fine with this thing, I am perfectly satisfied, and uh, yeah, you guys should be too if you do are, are lucky enough to win this. So, in all honesty, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I, I did the reviewing part in only like five minutes or so, so... Uh, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, then you might want to check out the uh, other weapon reviews I have done on this video. Then, um, I think I did a, my most recent one on the Space Blaster. Yeah, the Space Blaster is the most recent one that I did, so you guys should definitely check that one out. Be sure to check out my Storm Hammer review. Be sure to check out my other reviews that I have done on various different weapons. And, uh, <laughs> these people are actually in the chat like, oh my gosh, this guy. Um, that's pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, guys, it's, it's great. It's fantastic. I love this. I love this thing so much. But, um, yeah, so... Be sure to check out the other series I have done on various different games. I have done different ser- How did that person kill me with the grenade? That didn't make any sense. I was very far away. Um, but yeah, be sure to check out the other series I have done on various different games in uh, Pixelgon 3D. Various different things like my random weapon gameplay series, my colored weapon gameplay series, my uh, 1v1s, my deadly games, all of those series. They're all awesome. You guys should totally check every single one of them out. Be sure to go check out my other series I do on different games as well. I do a series on Modern Combat 5, Agario, Minecraft and numerous others so um, I kind of want to continue and just finish up with this match right here guys because I I'm first place I'm almost guaranteed that I'm first place right now um, let's go check real quick once I die once I die we'll check if we're first place um, yeah 42 and the second place person has <laughs> it's 29 that's crazy that's absolutely crazy so it's a great gun, guys. Or, knife. Sorry, I just said gun. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot now. I feel like an idiot. Look at that, it even goes through the freaking walls and stuff. If somebody's hiding behind the wall, you don't have to even worry about it anymore. The, the candy cane, like, goes through the wall. Hopefully, not too many people are going to go use the gifts now, because I honestly think this one might become quite a nuisance at times, um, just because so many people are going to probably end up trying to win this in the gift, and eventually people will, so... That might be a slight problem, but hopefully not, um... Hopefully it's still able to take all these people out, and I'm not gonna have too many candy cane candy cane spammers. We can make that a uh, make that a new hashtag or something in Pixel Gun 3D instead of hammer spammer, candy cane spammer. Oh my gosh, that would be insane. But look at this, guys! Boom, one shot. Somebody without any armor. It's just an easy one shot to take that person out. It's just absolutely insane. All right, so um, yeah, 56 seconds remaining, guys. I don't have much else. That I need to say, so I'm just going to continue on like I did before after the five minute mark when I finished the review. Um, I have 4,365 points right now. That's insane. Wow. Holy moly, guys. Candy Cane, that's where it's at. Multi kill. How many times have I gotten a multi kill in this video? I swear, I've gotten a lot of multi kills. Look at this. Candy Cane versus Storm Hammer. You can finally counteract the Storm Hammer with the Candy Cane. That is absolutely awesome. All right. 27 seconds remaining, and we're still getting some kills, guys. Nice, easy kills with this thing. I love it so much. These people, don't blame him. He's doing a review. Yes, I am doing a review. I am doing a review, guys. I really hope these people in the chat... I wasn't really paying attention to it too much, because um, I'm too much in awe with this candy cane. I hope they weren't saying anything like, Oh my god, guys, please talk. Um, oh well. What are you going to do? Five seconds remaining, and I think that's, that was our last kill. So almost 5,000 points, guys. 60 kills and yeah, so 
That's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the awesome gameplay with the candy baton. If you guys didn't, then be sure to hit that like button, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode.